gynandromorphs. These are the specialized and different kind of individuals who show male characters on some part of the body while the female characters on the rest of the part. Thus, gynandromorphs can be considered as a specialized different kind of individuals which contain both the characteristics on the same body. Such individuals are generally sterile in nature. That is, they cannot fertile. Such a type of situation generally arises in rare case. This situation generally arises in Organisms like Drosophila, Butterfly, Beetles, Silkworm and many others. Thus, such a type of individual that are sterile and exhibit both the characters on the same body includes such organisms or occurs in such organisms. Now, how does this occur? It generally occurs due to loss of X chromosome or due to the binucleated egg. Since the eggs would be binucleated in nature, therefore they cannot easily undergo fertilization and remain sterile. And therefore, the loss of an X chromosome during mitosis results into production of only single X chromosome. That is, instead of this, that is the autosomes plus X chromosome would result into this because loss of X chromosome occurs. And therefore, during the derivation of daughter cell, that is two daughter cell, one would contain 2A plus XX, that would be normal, and the other would contain only 2A plus X which would be sterile in nature. And so such individuals would be considered as gynandromorphs. This figure depicts the gynandromorph individual that contains both female and male characters on the same body. And its internal structure depicts the X chromosome that is which is diploid XX due to the loss of single X chromosome gets converted into XO. And therefore, out of the two daughter cell, one would be fertile and the other one would be sterile. Now we will start with the study of one of the most important topic that is bar body test. Before understanding about the test, let us understand that what is exactly bar body. As we all know that the mammalian cell of the certain sexes contains a darkly stained body in the nucleus. So, such a cell would be depicted as bar body or would be called as sex chromatin.
Thus, barbot is generally exhibited by the animals or the mammalian whose cells contain special type of sexes containing the ductly stained matter within the body of nucleus. This step was first discovered by scientists named Barr and Bertram. In the year 1949, this helped in identifying the sex of the animal. Now, the number of bar bodies is always less than the number of X chromosomes. This is the most important factor for identifying it. Thus, the number of bar bodies. always less one than X chromosome number. That is the organism or the individual carrying X chromosome would contain bar body one less than that. So, let us understand this with the help of few examples. For example, the individual containing chromosome set 22 autosomes plus XY, that is in case of male, no bar body would occur. Why? Because here only one X chromosome is present and it should be less than 1, that is 0. So here no bar body occurs. Therefore, in male, bar body is absent. Second, in case of females, where 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome that is XX, one bar body occurs. Because after eliminating one X chromosome, there remains X, single X, and so it is one bar body. And therefore, in females, one bar body occurs. The third case, that is in case of syndrome, like Turner syndrome, where only single X chromosome occurs, there also obviously no bar body would occur. And this situation generally occurs as Turner syndrome in female. And the second type of syndrome that occurs in male involving 22AA plus double XY that is which is triploid in nature is known as Klinefelter syndrome this type of syndrome generally occurs in male And due to two X chromosome, one after getting eliminated, one bar body would be formed or would occur. Thus, in this manner, the numbering of bar body is according with the numbering of X chromosome in an individual.